Thank you guys all for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, it's a good day whenever we get to push in a truck. I would have thanked anybody from the spec committee or fleet. Uh, a lot goes into these trucks before they get to this point. This is the, the quick part of this job, but months, sometimes years goes into getting these trucks actually designed, uh, spec'd, and actually built and then inspected. The push-in ceremony goes back hundreds of years to when our apparatus was still hand-drawn or drawn by horses. So the, the crews would come back from a run and they'd water the horses, they'd wash the apparatus, and they'd push it back into the bay by hand. Let's continue with these traditions, but there's so many in the, in the fire service you're gonna, you're gonna learn about. It just, it, it's a way to connect us to the past. It, it, it's a way to honor those that came before us and also to remind us how far we've come. Um, I think just even in some of our short careers, the, the apparatus that we're putting in service now are, are leaps and bounds of, of, than they were when, when some of us started. So we have a total of three rescues that are actually coming online and putting into service. We have Medic 3 here. Rescue 2 and Rescue 7 are also going to be coming into service. What's significant about Medic 3, I think, is that this is their first brand new truck as a company. Uh, Medic 3 is AFR's newest company to, to join the department. And uh, anybody that's been on any truck any time, uh, any amount of time knows these trucks become part of the crew. So with that said, hopefully uh, Medic 3 is going to be a, a hardworking and reliable uh, part of the crew for, for you guys here at 3's uh, moving forward. We need to thank the fleet and the mechanics division of our department. Those guys receive these apparatus. That's just part of the job, receiving the truck. They then have to put all the equipment, mount all the uh, stuff they use, their SCBAs. All the equipment that goes in these trucks are then mounted, lights are added. It's made a true, a true response vehicle. So that, that happens at fleet, and I'd like to thank fleet and the mechanics for that part. Fiscal staff. Uh, I, I'm in charge of the fiscal staff, and that, that's a big part of it, too. Uh, I want to thank them for a managing the money managing the po's managing the this these take sometimes two to three years to build and we don't always have the money up front it takes years to save these pools of money to buy these apparatus so i want to thank our fiscal staff for managing that and then of course the citizens the taxpayers these trucks wouldn't exist without the taxpayer dollars um, so that's a we want to thank all the citizens of albuquerque for these apparatus uh, and then of course thank the responders these are the gentlemen here all these gentlemen are the ones that ride these apparatus. They're the ones that go to these calls. They're the reason we get these apparatus. They're the reason we exist. You know, these guys are the heart and soul of AFR. So, um, Medic 3, uh, Lieutenant Fair touched on it, but Medic 3 is a new response type. Uh, it's similar to a rescue, but it has one paramedic and one BLS responder, and it allows us to now run basically two rescue units out of one station for the growing call volume in the area. So this truck, Although it's housed here at Station 3, it also helps with Station 5, Station 11, Station 13. Also, you know, it, it backs up other am, uh, ambulance and rescues as they are going out and responding. So this, we have two in the city, one at Station 17 on the west side, and now this will be the one on the east side, which is used to uh, respond to calls with patients, uh, larger patients, and uh, just gives us more capability as an as a entity. Each one of these trucks that comes out hopefully is a little bit better designed for the, the guys that are using them. The, the goal just being to, to try to help uh, alleviate the call volume in some of the areas that need it the most.